Cedar Point guard Justin Coleman here. Go ahead and uh, fire away. How's your shoulder feeling? I know you banged it up against Stanford, but then still played against Cal. Um, like I do in every interview, I want to give praise to the Most High for uh, giving me an opportunity to be here. And uh, my shoulder has been a lot better. You know, I played uh, Utah game, Stanford, Cal. So it's, it's getting better. I'm almost 100%. Did you do it all during the game? Uh, nah, I don't think about it a lot, you know. So when I'm out there, I play for my teammates and uh, my adrenaline flows a lot. So. I don't think about it. When, yeah, when it re-injured late against Stanford, was there that, oh no, not again, kind of feeling at all? Uh, mostly, I was just scared. Like, uh, he caught me off guard with a hard foul, and I went down a little bit. But after that, I was all right. So in the, I mean, are there, were there moments in Cal or even in practices where it's sore at all, uh, you know, or you're just playing, where you're playing through soreness or you literally don't feel it at this point? Uh, I want to give credit to our training staff uh, and Coach Miller. They do a good job with me in practice, just to get me in and out of reps, you know, so I can continue to protect my shoulder. But uh, we have a great training staff here and my shoulder has been feeling a lot better since the injury, so. Usually with the dislocation, you don't come back three days later and play in a game, right? I mean, are you surprised in the big picture that you're you're able to do what you you know what you did? Uh, no, I'm not surprised. I mean, like I said, I've given credit to J. Rock and Diego and Brigger, in a sense. Um, they helped me in the long run. Those four or five days I was out to get back to recovery. So we have a great training staff here. Seems like the last few games you've been more aggressive on offense. Is there some some reason for that? Uh, no, I wouldn't think it's a specific reason. I was just was playing my game and having fun with it, playing with some great teammates. And Chase Jeter has also been playing really well as far as Brandon Randolph and Brandon Williams. So I was just trying to help out my team the best way I can. What did you mention Brigger? What did he do? Like, did he have a special piece of equipment or something that helped or something? Or uh, yeah, Brigger. Since to have, you know, great encouragement, you know, because sometimes it's tough times going through a tough injury like that. And with Brigadier, he's an excited guy. He brings a lot of energy, he brings a lot of happiness to the team. So he helped me throughout the way as well. Losing a player like you guys did kind of at this point, how much is it on you to kind of rally the troops and kind of get everybody back together for, you know, the stretch run? Uh, E-Man, that's my guy. He's still our brother. You know, we still reach out to him as one. And um, I've also been through the transferring process as well. So um, losing E-Man, you know, we wish him the best. We still going to support him the best way we can because he's still family. And um, we just come to practice to get better every day as we did before. Nothing changes. Does that surprise you at all, especially mid-season, that a guy would leave like that? Yeah. Uh, I mean, he kind of talked with us together as a group and told us, you know, why he wanted to leave, which would keep closure as a team. But uh, we also told him that we still loved him as one, and he's still a part of us, as he would be. So uh, we just told him we're just going to encourage him throughout the process. What's your, uh, I don't know if you guys have looked at much Oregon stuff yet, or what's, what's your kind of thought on them and you know, how they're coping with, with all the adversity they faced? Uh, Oregon is really good, like really, really good. They are up-tempo team. They had a lot of great players that was top 25 in high school last year. And uh, we have to come to practice today to get better and prepare for Oregon the best way we can. Where have you seen progress from Iron lately? He obviously came in and shot the free throws for you and, and knocked them both down. I mean, where have you seen the progress with him lately? Man, um, the process with Ira has been really good. You know, I look at Ira as my little brother. You know, we've been through a lot since I've been here, and uh, I've been there for him the whole way. And uh, the process with Ira, he's getting a lot better, man, just mentally, spiritually. Uh, we read the Bible twice a week, and he's starting to put God first in his life, and you can tell in his play and his actions. So the process of our has been really good. Anything else for Justin? All right, thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you.